joke, and, and we really got it, and you didn't, but no big loss. Anyways, <laughs> there's starting to be a, um, a, a buzz about you guys. I mean, I am a big fan of you guys. I've right. seen you play live, put on a great live show, <clears throat> and it seems like a lot of people in the industry, and more important, the rock and roll fans, are really starting to talk about Alice in Chains. Well, the buzz has been getting quite big, you know, because, for one, we definitely stopped showering, so we got a lot of flies around us at all times. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah definitely. But, uh, yeah, it's been really fun. Uh, we've oh, been, I get it, the, the buzz. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, um, it, it's been really fun uh, getting out and playing and stuff and the, the radio and, and everything has been picking up on it. So, uh, you know, it's just been getting a lot better for us. Now, you just got done playing um, a tour, I guess, across Europe with Megadeth, right? Yeah, the, our Mega Brethren, is, we like to call them. Now, Megadeth usually draws a much heavier crowd. How did the crowd react to seeing you guys play? Great. They, um, we got a good response. Um, pretty much the same response we get here. <laughs> no, um, it was it pretty was, cool. Yeah. It was good. You know, we got spit on a few times, and but you guys like that. Yeah, we like. We that. love that as well as a few. Now you things. understand saying this on MTV now, everybody's gonna go to your shows and spit on you. True. True. <laughs> we hate that. We don't like that. Right now, let's take a look at a video from these guys. Here's Alice in Chains with Man in a Box. From Alice in Chains, having a problem talking. Um, a couple minutes ago, we were looking at the uh, video for Man in a Box, and it's got this this guy with his eyes sewed shut. Right. Kind of gory. Yeah, well, we actually, that operation was uh, it was quite extensive. Wayne did the sewing himself. As you can see, it was a fine job. And what does it all mean? That's why I got the shades on, because it still got the scars. You, you were that guy with the eyes <laughs> shut up, right? No, it was, a, it was a actor named Resin. So. Yeah, he's really big in Italy. Yeah. He's really big for when they need parts for guys to have their eyes sewn shut. And right. That was the part. Right. That now, we have mentioned before when we talked to you, that you're from Seattle. And I don't know if you want to be like boxes being a Seattle band, but do you feel that being from Seattle influences your type of music at all? Well, yeah, just, you know, the bands that, that we grew up with, you know, definitely had an influence on yeah, us. And definitely. I mean, we're from that area, and so <laughs> there's going to be those elements of the things that those bands are famous for. But, uh, Which is? You know, just loud, trashy guitars and, and uh, interface music and stuff. But there's a lot of other things that go on there, too. It's just a really strong scene. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a it's a cool thing to. So there's a good rock and roll scene in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. that as well as other music too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. We'll be back more with Allison Chains in a few minutes, but right now it's tonight's. Oh, first of all, tonight's Ballbuster competition is on the way. Ricky Rackman back on the Headbangers Ball with a couple of the guys from Allison Chains. Uh, some members of Pantera are going to be here in a few minutes, so you're going to stick around. And now, uh, you guys, like I said before, I've seen you guys play live before, and you definitely put on a really good live show. Are there any plans? for you to go on tour in America? Because I guess you guys got back from Europe. Yeah, we're uh, right now we're going to be doing some uh, uh, work in a, in a movie that's being done in Seattle right now. It's going to be kind of fun for us to do. And uh, in the middle of May is when we kick off with the, uh, Clash of the Clash Titans. of the Titans tour. It's going to be great. Uh, Slayer, Megadeth, uh, Anthrax, and ourselves. So that's going to be a pretty wild show. Yeah, it's going to be For fun. those of you people that um, aren't familiar with Alice in Chains, how would you kind of describe your music? Real Slow stinky. Slow and boring. How about that? <laughs> so boring. that? People are going to say, yeah, I want to get a good slow and boring yeah. record. Yeah. Real stinky I mean, and sweaty. Because I've heard a lot of us out there. Some of the comparisons, I mean, I don't know if you like them. I mean, so, some comparisons have been sort of Jane's Addiction, I've heard. And I guess, what were some of your influences when you guys, you know, were kind oh, of growing God. up? Zamfir. <laughs> pan flute. The pan flute artist, see? right. I was into, I don't know, you can see a lot of my influences directly. I was into like Elton John mm -hmm. and uh, Merle Haggard and stuff. Don't pick it up at all in the music. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a question. Songs like, where do you get the ideas of writing? Does everybody write the songs in Alice in Chains? We generally come up with ideas and stuff. Lane and I uh, come up with a lot of the ideas, and we'll bring them into the band, and we'll work them out together that way. And uh, that's how it all kinds of ends up sounding like what we do. You know, we bring in the idea, and then the band just kind of kicks it around, and that's mm -hmm. how it comes out. We well, want to thank you guys for stopping by. And I definitely, when these guys come to your town, check them out and check out the record because it's real good. Anyway, we've got that White Lion world premiere, Love Don't Come Easy, and that's right after number four, after the number four. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.